everybody, this is Zaylin from Little Nerdy AX, and today we're going to do a couple of unboxings. First, we have the Nintendo Switch, which is available in neon and gray, and then we're also going to go straight to the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Special Edition. There is a Master Edition available, but unfortunately, I could not reserve it in time, so we'll have to do with the special. So let's get right to it, because I'm going to play these games, and I'm quite frankly, I just came off of work, I'm rest to go. Let's go. So we are opening the Nintendo Switch Neon Edition. It's neon because of obviously the red and blue controls, which are different from the gray version. Now we have some images here on the side and then on the back, just showing you what the controller looks like inside of its uh, grip and the dock with the screen hidden. All right, so let's bust this sucker open because again, I am ready to play it. All right, open it up, da -da -da. there was no tape on here. Got your instructions, it seems. Um, easy setup, <laughs> didn't, have, didn't need a manual book to explain that. And I realize I'm holding it upside down, so we're gonna flip it over and doop. There we go, all right. So, here we have our Joy-Con controllers. Um, there's left and right, they are different, so for some of you who are wondering, they are different controllers. Um, you cannot have two, like there's a left one, the right one is basically what I'm trying to say. But basically, these controllers are very small. And I have very, very large hands, so essentially, these controllers don't exist to me. Okay, they, they do not exist. I'm going to give them a run before I try to invest in like a pro controller because usually I adapt to the controller that comes with the console, but woo, here they are, okay? So let's go on to what looks like the screen. Now, for those of you who do not know what you're actually looking at, um, the Nintendo Switch is special because it acts as a in-home console as well as a portable console. So here we have our screen. Oh, first hands. Mmm, that Nintendo smell. nintendo -ium? I don't know what it's called. Okay, here we go. And there is our screen. Now, if I uh, look, if I watch this correctly, um, the red is on the right side, so I'm just curious what's going to see if I can just slide that in there. <laughs> there we go. And then we have the blue one, which I believe also just slides. Just slides right in there. All right, and there we go. Woo! Can't wait to play Zelda on this. Now, inside of this box, we have some other things, it seems, things that we need. Uh, of course, standard HDMI cable, that has to be there. And this is our power cable. Now, um, if anybody is curious about this, the thing about the power cable, uh-huh, is, yep, it is a USB Type-C power cable. I think this is on, um, the iPhone and other, like, cell phones that are coming out. It was on the Rest in Peace Note 7, Samsung's Note 7. Uh, I think I actually have one of these hanging around, so whew, more places to charge. But this also hooks into what looks like the uh, tablet itself. And then on the tablet, we also have a game cartridge, yes, a headphone port, and volume, and what looks like power controls. Cool. Now, if I remember correctly, oh, there it is. There is a little kickstand that you can use. Boom. And kickstand. Do not betray me. I do not trust this kickstand because everything right now is precious. And there it is. Boom. All right. So with that said, let's check out what else is in this bag. All right. Safety information, always important. Everybody should read it, but no one ever does. And then, okay, we have our straps. Okay, these go on the control. I'm pretty confident these are going to go, these are going to go on the controller. Um, probably for when you're, you know, wireless. And they actually add two more buttons to it. So, oh, there's something else in here. Okay. Ah, here we go. This is the grip I was talking about. Um, I guess it's going to give your Switch a more traditional uh, kind of feel. Oh, that works pretty nice. Okay, so, um, okay. So this next part here, we have, okay, so this right here is the dock. The dock is what's going to sit at your um, home entertainment system, your TV is right in front of it, and uh, this shouldn't be too much. Let's see here. All right, so you have your dock, you, I guess you take your tablet and you just like slide in on top. So let's watch how this goes. Dock, I'm going to unhook this so easy it's just so easy I'm not gonna lie these things are very light so I'm kind of concerned 
that they're probably easy to throw. Um, and slide this back in there. Slide this back in there. And I guess we just snap. And I guess it just, that's it. It just kind of slides into place. That's it. All right. So <laughs> I guess that takes care of the whole like, how's this fit in here? You have your power cable. And then of course you're going to have your HDMI. It's a very modest and simple setup. So um, with that said, uh, I really cannot wait to start playing this game. Yeah, that power button. All right. I guess from this point on, we can uh, hmm, go on to the next one. Let's go. All right, now it's time for the unboxing of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Special Edition. So let's see here. Now, we just unboxed the Switch, so we're super excited about that. We're ready to go. So I'm gonna try to speed through this thing. They actually put tape on this, unlike the Switch. So let's break that. This officially is mine. <laughs> All right, so real quick, front and the back. We have some scenes from the game talking about how epic the tale is going to be and stuff like that. Um, it also speaks of Amiibo compatibility. Um, for those of you who've been following Twitch, you know that I have been playing Twilight Princess because I want that Amiibo functionality with the Wolf Link. All right, so, okay. Something just fell down. What is this? Oh, it's okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, guys. We're, we're messing up everything. We're messing up everything. So, this is our Zelda coin. <laughs> um... And oh, they just like, they literally just popped out. So here we go. We have the Legend of Zelda um, soundtrack. I think there's like 24 songs on this thing. Awesome. And then look at these boxes. They're so small. They're like PSPs. Um, we have the Breath of the Wild. Now I'm noticing that on this box, normally with like boxes, they have like some type of like artwork on the back. This one, I mean not artwork, they have some type of game information. It's just this, it's just the artwork from the cover. So, um, all right, makes things pretty simple. And then let's see here. Okay, so we have a map, a map I'm assuming of Hyrule. Let's take a quick peek at this real quick, show all the pretty people. I actually am probably going to use this map because I hear that the world is like roughly like 60% bigger than Skyrim. Oh, what is this on the back? I don't even know what this is. Is there any? So I mean, ooh, the, the material of this paper is really good. Um, I don't know what this is on the back, but then this is the high world world map. Notice the word world. So normally high world is like a country, but in this case it's um it could be its own continent, it looks like. That that's definitely different. It's definitely, definitely different. Alright. So I'm gonna wrap this puppy up and then we're gonna place it back in here. I'm gonna have to put this like on a wall somewhere so that I can just look up and be like, where am I? And then that moment you realize the developers probably included a map in the game. Hmm. Okay, so this is upside down also. Haha, -ha, this is great. Oh, it's actually, it's pretty big. Um, I'm just gonna reach in here and just pull this out. Uh, this looks like the symbol, it reminds me of the Ocarina of Time symbol of the Sheikah. Very elaborate casing for this. Oh, wow. This is actually, okay, let's, um, I need you guys to really like take a look at this. This is, this is more substantial than I thought. So what we have here, whoop, this is a very, very solid case. Like, oh my goodness. Is it this sucker? So on the front, we have Shika Simple in blue, and then we have this really nice cover. Like, this material is not something I was expecting. I was expecting it to actually be a print from the images, not to actually be molded on here. And then, you guys, like, this is great. This is this is so good. This is so good. Okay, you guys can probably can't see the inside. But there are, there's like a flap in here. I'm assuming this is to hold the console. And then up here, um, you have places to put your games, your cartridges. And then I'm assuming, like, maybe some light accessories or, like, a book or something like that. But it looks like you can actually place the console inside. So why don't we do it a test with our newly unpacked Nintendo Switch. Okay. So here's our new Nintendo Switch. And we're just going to pop that puppy. Actually, I'm going to take turn the power off. I have failed. Okay, cool. Just going to pop that sucker inside of there. 
And uh, I think I did this right. I think I did this right the first go. There we go. There we go. I am ready to go to work. I got my Switch with me. Play during my breaks. Or be horrible and play during work and get fired. But this is actually this is actually pretty nice. This actually is a really nice um, case. Um, I reserved... Um, sorry, I reserved. I purchased another carrying case. Um, cause I didn't know what this was going to be, how substantial it was going to be. But I don't think I need anymore. I'm going to return that. So, yeah. This, this actually works out pretty well. All right, guys. So, we have our Zelda coin, as mentioned before. Got a little stickiness on there. Take that off. And then we also have a map. And what appears to be... The soundtrack is like the little Zelda tunes, and of course, the game itself with no descriptions on the back because it's a special edition. All right, so I guess that pretty much concludes our uh, boop. <laughs> I guess that pretty much concludes our unboxing of the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild special edition. Um, if you guys enjoyed these unboxings, please let me know um, <laughs> in the comments below. If you guys have any questions or whatever, also let me know. I am still in my work clothes. I am ready to get into this world. I've been waiting for this for a very, very long time. So with that said, this is Zaylin from Lil Nerdy AX. See you later, Space Cowboy. Hi, everybody. Hello. Thank you for watching our video. And if you enjoyed it, please remember to click the like button below and subscribe for more Lil Nerdy AX action in the future. Also, don't forget to leave any comments and share it with your friends. We will see you next time. See you later, Space Cowboy. Boom, you got that one.